Hey guys! I know it's been a while, but I had some hiccups. Um, but we're back, and we're gonna go gamble. Um, it's not, not good cards. Whatever, we'll bluff it. Raise me, ain't got uh, I guess is you got shoot. a handful. We get an eight on there. That'd be nice. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh shit! Oh shit! Well, let's raise the stakes, bitch. Have a look at these. <laughs> what do you think of this? Oh shit! Yes. Come on. <laughs> Give me the money, baby. Give me the money. Are you fucking me? Okay. Look, you do this. The only way they're gonna beat me is if they have a king. I'm a play slow. Oh, you scared? Okay, okay, all right. Damn, I got lucky there. Show me the money. Show me the money. Okay, okay, I have a ten. Please. All right. What do I have again? Oh, no, I have a jack. I have a jack. Anyone else feeling dangerous? I'll raise you. Okay. Impressive. That's something you'll regret soon enough. All right. All in. No for me. Oh, that's a miracle. <laughs> that's a little exciting. Oh shit. Well, if you have his queen. Ah, uh, god damn it. Get out, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Pretty soon, all right? You're gonna leave pretty fucking soon. Oh, I got nice. Put it in, bitch. Just hope he doesn't have. Here you go. Come on. Nothing to see on these. All right. All right. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Give me your money. Okay, I'll raise you, bitch. <laughs> I'm drawn dead, boys. <laughs> Eat on my ass. Eat on my ass. The fuck was that? Hey, who made that noise? God no. Baby steps. Let's see. Seems like this game. Get out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Door, front door, right there. Get out of my kitchen, bitch. If you can't cook, you're no good to me. Act like I have nothing. Because if he knows I have an ace. It is at a game of Oliver. Raise me. See? Let's go a little higher. Oh, there we go, huh? Now I know he's like super close. I got how many how much yeah? That's all you got for us? Latest shipments oh. is long overdue. Things are looking <laughs> okay. Thank yeah. you. Come on, come on! Give me a king. Go well come on, give me Yeah. Uh. Alright. That ain't fair. Well, this was painful. I'm out. Bye then. I guess I'm about done. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Come on. Well, there you go. Sir? Yeah, hello. I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work. For what the fuck was that? The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. Where are they? Tell me. Who? Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Son of a Where bitch. Where are they? Just put the big red book on the skirt of crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Hell, McDuga. All right. What's going on down here? Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Dude, these guys are starving. What the fuck? Ayúdanos. Here, take that and come with me. 
Oh, they sell pots and pans? That is awesome. I have one of these at home. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's go. Come on. This way. Not much farther. We got him. We got him. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Oh, I'm coming. Is he okay? Help me. Please. Uh-oh. I need medicine. You okay, buddy? Okay. You cruel. Oh shit! Miss click. Miss input. Miss input. Um. Well. It's just uh. Oh, I accidentally checked his pulse. Oh, we got an update from Karen. Karen Duffy. Let's just um. Uh, just do this. My mistake. Oh, and we discovered a new plant. That is so fantastic. And I got blood on me. This is a new suit too, so that kind of sucks. Hey, Micah. Micah. Hey, hey, Micah. I mean, I, I know why I can't shoot up Micah, but <clears throat> can I shoot off his hat? Are you crazy? <laughs> you? Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party. We yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house. Dad! Get off the Xbox! Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. You see that? They're all pointing their me, guns gentlemen. at them. At him. Not like they're threatening him, but. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Bronte, he has a the thing, you know. Respect. Oh, sorry. I was looking at that guy's mustache. Wrong way. Wrong way. Cowboys, you arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited For the us first to. time in the month. It's quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well... We're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. But I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> you bald little fuck! And that was just... I do not want that. Can I interest that. you in a glass of champagne? Sparkling water? I would love that. Jose, come on, you almost just made up. Thank you. Hey, hey. Get your hair, uh, dude, get your hands off of me, man. Where did Bill go? What is Bill doing now? This is some nice sparkling water. All right, let's, let's do this mission. It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Get your ass you out of here, you son of a bitch! Come on, sleep it off. Go get eaten by alligators, jerkwad. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. That is lord, sick, dude. Fantastic. I love fireworks. Uh, excuse me, father. Excuse me, father. Uh, monsieur, please. please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, no, not yet. I'm about to be. Sneaky time. Sneaky time. Oh shit, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, you what the are. fuck? You want to get your ass like kicked? Come here, motherfucker. Notice. Look at me. No, look at me now. You think you're funny? Sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. Yeah, the, the party's in the garden. Hey, you want me to go out in the garden? I'll go in the garden. Come on, come with me. Actually, let's go out back. I'll kick your ass, you Unaware. fucking chubby little fuck boy. Hold on, we gotta grab this. I wanna see what this is. Oh, okay, this isn't Cornwall. Let's grab this. Uh, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. All right, mission complete. Let's go kick this guy's ass now. You like slapping people around, huh? You son of a bitch. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, where are you, motherfucker? Is there anything that we can steal in here? Where'd you go, motherfucker? God damn, he just entirely left us. Let's go see if we can talk to Angelo Dickhead. Wait, what? What? I never knew you could go out here. Holy shit. Wait, okay. This is something over here. Let's fiddle around with this. Nothing. Nothing. Why did it allow us to pick lock that then? Oh, there we go. Dutch! In the end, I did. I tried. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeons. Shut the fuck up, Bill. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. But I can smell it. But I can smell it. But I, but I, but I, but I, but I can smell it. But I can smell it. 